Welcome, so today I thought I'd do a quick video talking about the Orbital Rail Cannon Strike. So, this is a great, great stratagem to use against big enemies like hulks, tanks, uh, chargers, bile titans. It won't kill the bile titan unless you've done a lot of damage to it already, but it will uh, take a hell of a lot out of it. It will break its armor and make it much easier for you to kill it. But it'll one-shot a charger, one-shot a tank, uh, one-shot uh, uh, hulks, it'll one-shot the uh, turrets. So let me go ahead and fire it up. The only bad thing about it is you can only use it about once every three minutes. So, But it does have tracking, so uh, we'll just try and... There's an enemy right there. We'll just go ahead and I'll throw it over here. Well, there was an enemy there. So... <laughs> That's why it didn't hit the one that I was looking at right there, because I didn't see this one over here. But, uh, yeah, so, and now we're on cooldown for three minutes. Uh, but for, I mean, huge, big enemies, it's it's a really great thing to use. Uh, one of the things I really like to use it for is uh, the uh, turrets that the automaton, automatons have that are on the towers. You know, they have typically great fields of fire, you know, lots of open space around them. They'll one-shot you. So, you know, what I like to do is I like to, you know, spool it up, get the stratagem entered in, you know, run, sneak up behind some rocks, you know, kind of inch my way closer to it, and then throw it, in, you know, relatively, you know, close to it, and then the auto-tracking on it will just take it to uh, the, uh, the turret and take it out. But... Like I said, I mean, it's it's just a great thing. Uh, the only bad part about it is it just doesn't have, uh, uh, when it ex hits the target, it just decimates that target, but it doesn't really have any collateral uh, explosive damage to anything else. Uh, so, you know, it's not going to give you any kind of explosion that's going to damage anybody nearby. So, um also, you know, sometimes you got to be careful if you're, like, near the edge of the map. I've seen it very rarely, like, hit on a, you know, uh, a uh, rock or a mountain uh, because the enemy's just too close to it and the path between it and the, uh, uh, uh oh, I hear somebody coming. And the uh, target is uh, blocked by, you know, the rock outcropping. So that's who we're at on the cooldown. Yeah, we still got a bit, so... I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out here. Just my... Make it a little more controllable. Alright, so how much time we got left here? 50, 50 seconds. Another 30 seconds. Fortunately, I haven't aggroed this guy, so we'll go ahead and try and take him out with it. One more shot. But yeah, I mean, as long as you get it close, and like I said, I mean, sometimes it will lock on to something that you did not intend for it to. But that's just because there's another big target right next to it. So, uh, so here we go. Again, going to do the same thing. Same rough area there. Boom! Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's the orbital rail cannon strike. Uh, you know, it's a lot better, I think, than the orbital laser. Uh, just because um, for what it does... Just because it just decimates that one target immediately, uh, and you can use it throughout the entire mission on the three-minute cooldown, so it's going to be available to you the whole time. Essentially, uh, the problem with the orbital laser, which is not really a problem, but you know, it will take time uh, for the damage to build up on uh, anything that it hits. So it may, you know, be on a charger for 
you know, five, ten seconds before it kills it. So, um, so whereas the rail cannon strike just boom, gone. Uh, so yeah, so if you like using the orbital rail cannon strike, uh, certainly f please note it in the comments and let us know how you like to get the most out of it. And I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.